When I let go of this door, it hits the top side of the door jam, leaving a large gap on the very top and on the bottom of the door. And here is another look from the inside, where the sagging door is hitting the top of the door jam and obviously is not closing properly. And when I open the door to look at where the door hinge is attached to the door jam and the door itself, it looks like it's in a pretty good shape. All the screws are firmly screwed in their places, so I will not be doing any adjustments here, at least at this time. So the only adjustment on the hinge I will be doing from this side. And for that I will need a good sized nail to knock out a pin which holds two sides of the hinge together. With the pin out of the way I need to adjust these two loops which belong to the door. I'm not sure what the proper name is so I'll call them loops. But the other three loops belong to the door jam and I will not be touching them. And the way you figure out which loops belong to the door is when you see a solid piece of metal like here and here on the door side. And to adjust the hinge from this side I will need to move these two loops slightly to the right. And when I put this pin back in its place the whole door should move slightly to the left and lift up into the proper alignment. And the gap on this side should become smaller while the gap on the other side should become larger so the door can close properly. And the only tool for this job I will need this adjustable crescent wrench. So let's get to the adjustment part. Tighten the crescent wrench around one of these loops and pull it to the right towards the door or if your door jam is on the other side then pull it to the left. But make sure that the smaller adjustable lip of the wrench is facing the door side, not the other way around because most likely it will not work. So once again tighten the wrench and pull it to the side. This is a heavy outside door and it has pretty strong hinges to hold the weight of the door. So you would probably need to apply a lot of pressure and possibly use both hands to bend those hinge loops. And looks like the top one has been adjusted far enough. And now let's adjust the bottom hinge part. There is no special formula on how far you need to bend those hinge loops. So you just kinda have to eyeball it for the first time and if it's not good enough, bend it more the second time. And the bottom loop of the hinge seems like it can use a little bit more bending. And that should be good enough. Time to replace the pin. But first I will open the door just a little bit and wiggle it around trying to align those holes on the hinge so the pin can go in inside easier. And of course if you're not holding the camera in the other hand it's much easier to do. So the top hinge is done. But I also would like to adjust the middle hinge. Since the door is so heavy it can use some support from the middle hinge as well. But look at this. As I try to knock out the pin from the middle hinge it comes out easily without the hammer. Which means the middle hinge is not doing any load bearing whatsoever. So it definitely needs to be adjusted. Just like the top hinge these two loops need to be bended to the right. And once again Tighten the crescent wrench around one of those loops and pull it to the right side. Don't forget that the smaller lip of the wrench should be facing the door, not the door jam. Not much of adjustment here, but that should be enough for the middle hinge. And now do the second loop as well. And that looks like it should be enough. Replace the pin and open the door just a little bit 
to realign those holes and the pin drops by itself, but now it will support the door when it's closed. Here you can see some scratch marks on the door from rubbing on the door jam when it couldn't close properly. And now when I close it, the door is not touching the door jam any longer. Maybe the door doesn't look as perfect as a brand new installation, but when I open it and let it go, it closes as it's supposed to. I hope you found this video helpful, if so please share it with your friends, subscribe and also hit the like button. Thank you.